Hi, my name is Andy. Welcome back to my shop. Um, in the previous video, we uh, kind of went over what I'm doing here with this plenum box, which is to put some wind environmental filters um, on the back wall back here to recirculate my dust collection system. I went ahead and pre-drilled all the holes to assemble this, cut the circle in the bottom where the filter will be going down from here. I still need to drill my holes for the carriage bolts but what I want to do tonight is go ahead and get these uh, side pieces here glued to the bottom so I can put carpet on this face this face and then this face here and then once I get that done I have a piece of carpet already cut out that'll mount under here and the one that'll actually mount on the uh, cover plate we'll call it that'll go right here so what we'll need to do is flip it over, uh, leave this connected just to keep everything straight, flip it over, unscrew the couple of screws from the other side, put moisture on it, put some glue on it, and then drive all the screws home. So with those carriage bolts, what I plan on doing is putting those in and then laying the carpet over top. Um, so I'm just going to staple the carpet down and it shouldn't be uh, too big of a deal. And I guess we're going to let this cook for a little while and probably after dinner come back out here and I can lay some of the carpet in and staple it down. Um, it should be... You know, it'll be one piece on the bottom, cut out the hole, um, you know, put all the, the hardware in, and then rinse and repeat for the top side here with more uh, grill glue and screws. And then we'll go ahead and work on fitting the front with the carpet just to make sure there's no um, issues with fitment because that carpet's going to scrap here. You know. If I bring it all the way out to the edge here, I'm going to have to really push it back. So I'm holding it back a little bit. So when the piece comes over top here, you're going to get a, call it a seal, but a non-interference. So it's going to be the same thing probably on the side here. I need to hold it back some or trim in the, the front piece so it doesn't really interfere too much. But I got this, this I don't know what you call this, pile regular builders grade something like that but uh, that's going to be on all the sides and that should really deaden the sound but like I said I want to see how it's going to affect the performance though too so um, I guess there's really not much I can do about that I guess when I get it mounted up in there I mean, since it's all going to be mounted I could always pull it off one piece or something but we'll see so we'll let this cook out and go from there. I think before I get too much further, while this glue is drying, I'm going to put the carriage bolts in and I'm going to put the filter on top of here, make sure all the holes line up and it can screw down fine. And that'll tighten these heads into the uh, plywood also. So let's grab that and see what happens. Press pretty good there. It's not moving. The heads, heads under here still aren't set all the way, so I'll have to just pound those in. But that seemed to uh, attach quite well. 
on a side view. Um, there's a little bit of bow on this. I don't know if that's going to affect anything. So the glue is kind of put in here for the, the filter and the screen part. But I'm going to guess that's going to be kind of a, yeah, it's not super hard, but it probably has a little bit of play to it. Um, other than that, it looks pretty good. look inside here. Yeah, hole lines up just fine going in here. So, so I just pound these carriage bolts in and uh, you know that that ring is compressed. I wonder if I need to I don't know if I need to make something to keep this from bowing, but I'll call the manufacturer and ask them. I can push it down more. But uh, I think that, and I got some, some lock washers too. But since this is pushing down, I don't know how much uh, those are going to do any good. So, all right. So, let the glue finish setting up. Take this off, pound these in. I think we'll probably go ahead and fire up the compressor and lay that carpet in on the bottom and the sides. I think what I'll do is I'll just put these nuts back on so it doesn't push the uh, carriage bolts out. So, let's go ahead and do that. Those are set. Hmm. Well, this has been where my glue go. Here it is. What does this stuff say? Gorilla glue. Uh, do not do not microwave. Is that a way of curing glue? Uh, clamp one to two hours. Full cure 24. I think this thing is set long enough. We can just take this top off and start working on some carpet. back almost flush. I'm not going to put any on the back. And then you can see here I left it a little short. Uh, there's plenty of room over there. I should be able to stick my stapler in here and uh, go ahead and staple that down. So let me uh, go fire up the compressor and get stapler and we'll go ahead and nail this down. I got uh, just crown nail stapler, three quarter inch staples, and I, mean, I don't think there's any right way or wrong way for this, so we'll just kind of see what happens. So go across the back so the air doesn't try to pick it up here. I think that's it. 
cut out the hole. We'll uh, cut around and cut the circle out. Then we'll staple around that. It's like nothing blew through. No big deal there. I'm gonna do the same thing. We'll grab the top here. On the top, I kind of laid out where the sides are. That way, when I assemble it, it shouldn't. Shouldn't have a problem. That'll work. So now, you know, I don't know if I need it on the sides. I wonder if I just need it on the front part, the top and the bottom. But he did say line it with it, so maybe I should just put it on all sides. Ay, ay, ay. Tell you what, though, since this is the top. I wouldn't hurt to have some in the middle. To keep it from sagging. All right. Well, that's uh, definitely attached. So let's work on the side. So. So I'm going to cut that carpet off camera and then come back and attach it because it just takes up the whole table and it's a mess and you know, cutting carpet isn't that fun, but is this either? So we'll be right back. I got the hole cut out in the bottom here and my sides cut out here, so we'll go ahead and attach these. These should line up. Pretty good. So it's going to kind of rest on here and the top will come down and rest right here. Even them up to the back. Well, there's the inside now. Um, the top on it, I guess. I don't see any reason why we can't do that right now. Bolts are in. Trying to make sure there's nothing I need to put in here before I seal it up. I don't think there is. If not, I guess I can make another one. Um, screw holes, carpet, this is front, back. Okay, see what happens. Lastly, this will be this piece that will go right here. Or I need to cut it down, it looks like. 
for the front. So take a little bit off of that, attach it. width is good, it's just this length here. down, squish. Yeah, if not, we'll cut a little bit more off this bottom piece and the top and sides are going good. It's really against this piece right here. I guess I didn't hold that back far enough, but that's no big deal. So we'll get that attached to the top and then what's next I guess the box will pretty much be done so I think in the next video what I'm going to do is work on cutting a hole in the back wall um, and try to you know, fit this through there you know, it has to either get the right height out of it, the right width out of that block, and this should slide right in, have the back on it afterwards, because the back obviously is bigger than be able to slide through, so I like to put that on afterwards, that's no big deal either. So. All right, well, I think we're going to leave it there for this video. So we got the box pretty much assembled, carpet lined. Um, let me show you. Test fitted the filter, which worked. Here's kind of a cross section here. Um, let's take a measurement and see where we are for our opening for, you know, square inches or what we want to call it, just for opening so we got 13 and then five so still think that's going to be plenty of open area for air rushing in to not slow down too much before it hits the hole in the back side and it gets directed down so like I said we'll take some measurements on um, some of my ports here I was playing today and actually at this six inch port I was pulling almost a thousand CFM and six thousand feet per minute with exhausting outside and that's with my barrel almost always all the way full I haven't emptied it yet because I got a new uh, steel barrel that I'm going to be putting on there also so 
Can't think of anything else. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Comments are great to hear. Um, still get used to talking on camera, so please avoid, I guess, any mannerisms I may have. And um, hope you guys are finding this useful. Thanks.